Hello and welcome to the PM Show, your weekly roundup of what's new and going on in the PM world. How are we doing this morning, gentlemen? We all good? Thank you very much. It seems like ages since we've done one of these. It is. It's on the 20th we did the last one. Just before Flory Fest, I think it was. Yeah. And, and then with everything that went in after it and all the rest of it, so we had the orders to get out and all the bits and pieces, so we didn't do a show for that one because it was very busy. And then, yes, I got married, so that put pay to that one. I was <laughs> preening myself, <laughs> ready. <laughs> So, yes, but uh, no, apart from that, all good. We all good? All recovered? After your little break as well? All set, yeah. ready to go? Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, it was a nice time. Had bullet yes. pipe by all. Yes, that's it. Head drunk, watered and danced, so yes. it's all right. <laughs> and we were, who were the last ones up? Yeah, I was still there. I was still there just gone midnight when they kicked us out. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed funny going back through the hotel, wouldn't it, because there was nothing. Nothing. It could have been three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> there was nobody left. Yeah. So uh, well, there was a lot no. of old people there, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of old people. I think they went to bed very early. So, yeah. uh, but no. Anyway, it was a good old day. But obviously, back to it. Um, lots of new things come out. Lots of things to talk about. Lots of things to discuss. We've had big deliveries come in. We've had restocks from AK uh, with all of their various things. So we've got paint and stuff in as well. We've also got the acrylics are back in. Yep. So we've been harping on about this stuff for absolutely ages. So this is the AK uh, acrylic thinners. Um, so this is the third gen one. Uh, so yeah, it's what we've been talking about all the way through last two weeks. And we haven't had any. So anyway, they are back in stock now. So if you do want to go off and grab some of those, you can do now. They are right there. So, okay. If we pop over to arrivals, we can see... Um, Pretty much as we were last week, but we've got some new things back in stock that went out of stock. So obviously the lightnings are back in, which is really nice indeed. We've got, how do you pronounce that? No idea. Do we know? Going to give it a whirl? Go on, Andy, you're good at this. Harib, Harib. Okay. Probably not. Probably not, no. <laughs> we should have Googled that. Anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, yeah. the, the, most of them are Czech decals, aren't they, on it? So Yes. It's Czechos vacuum, isn't it? Don't mm -hmm. they? Fair enough. Uh, so anyway, uh, that one down in there is the um, Zvezda kit. Really, really nice kit on that one. So very nice indeed. Uh, we've got also the 48 scale um, uh, BF 109K4 limited edition as well. So if you're a bit of a 109 fan, you're gonna love that one. We've got a Nash horn in as well, border models. Uh, so this is the uh, VT024 version of an SD KFZ164. Uh, yeah. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah, absolutely. That particular one. The beautiful Armour Hobbies um, uh, Hurricane Mark II. So it's the drop version, which is a really nice one. Said about the Lightning. And again, we've got in the um, the Super Mister. 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 <laughs> oh, my, favorite, my best hello, hello impression. <laughs> a Super Mister, uh, uh, which is the B2 early version, which, say, Mac did a... Uh, got them out the other day didn't you and they've got some really nice markings in that one so mm. we've got all of those ones down in there so again we've got some new bits and pieces in we've got some pre-orders coming up with you in a moment uh, just, we've also got him sorry just before you shoot off go back oh, go i need now. to say this um su25 yes comes with a book yes now, now we're a bit confused because originally it wasn't coming with a book Okay. But this has got the book in it because it's bloody ever. Right, so, okay. There's originally two versions, weren't there? One without yeah. the book, one with the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we believe that the one with the book had been discontinued. But obviously, it's not. But so. Do we think this is because they haven't sold many? I've got no idea. Don't know. Because, you know, obviously there is a little bit of a political thing here, which we won't go into clearly, especially with the way the world is at the moment. But obviously, I think the trouble with this kit got a little bit of flack when it got released and even I didn't review it purely because of what was going on obviously in the world mm -hmm. um and uh I think a lot of people have got a feeling it, it, it's you know because it's Russian you shouldn't do anything Russian but as we said before from my point of view you know it's the best SU25 out there that's basically the capo one is like our old now Christ, I built that 40 thing. Like years 15, old, 40 years old. 40 years old. Yes, the dawn of injection moulding, that is. is uh, it? And it's, yeah, it, it's this thing is just night and day. And to be honest, it's a really, really beautiful kit. And I know there's obviously a lot of people out there, and it obviously 
pay your money, you do what you like with it and all the rest of it. But all we're going to say is it's a really, really nice kit. But we know it completely went under the radar when that one got released because I think it got released literally the week before the invasion. So um, at that point, by the time we got it, we glossed over it. Everybody I know glossed over it as well. But actually, it's a really, really nice kit. And this particular one, obviously, it comes with a fantastic, all the decals and all the bits and pieces. But I think it is all just the check ones, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it, um, it's I a really, it's, really nice one. Is it Czech and I think there's a couple of Hungarian, is it? There's a Hungarian as well. There's a couple yeah. of other ones in it. Not, yeah, most of them are Czech there. Mm. But, you know, obviously, if you, you know, principles and morals and all the rest of it, no problem at all but as i say it is definitely the best su25 out there and i think it has become one of those kits which nobody really wants to you know get involved with which is a shame because vesda really really getting their act together coming out with some fantastic products and this is definitely one of their best ones and it's a shame that it's sort of floated under the radar in a lot of ways and as i say completely separate to any political opinions and all the rest of it but as i say from a model kit point of view it really is very nice and i think sometimes when like with this one i think originally they were going to do both versions and now they're stuck with them so they're thinking we'll just we'll get rid of all the ones with the books so which is fair enough indeed. But you say, if you are an SU-25 fan, and they say it's a really nice aircraft, then uh, that's definitely the kit for you on that one. Uh, right, okay. So, also a very nice one, which Matt's going to build, <laughs> is <laughs> the 124 scale James Bond Aston Martin DB5 Gold Finger. Stinky. Nice. Stinky finger. <laughs> <laughs> so yes so this is the easy click system which means nothing trust me uh with this one um but anyway 122 parts matt we were we were talking about this just before we came on air and like i did say i can imagine this is right up matt street so and after the success of the jaguar build we're expecting him to do this one as a video build really the big comeback yeah, so i'd say I've, I've done some of these in one-to-one -one scale so that's it yes oh, you know. Uh, first, you, can put, you can put your skills onto that, can't you? Yeah, that's oh, it. Yeah. It'd be a piece of cake for you, doing it in a tiny scale. Yeah. In a tiny scale, <laughs> what, in the right colour? Yeah, absolutely. Do you, do you want to talk about the colour? The colour should be? Silver birch. Silver birch is, is the, the real colour for this. Yeah. The, 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 uh, the car should be, not silver. Mm -hmm. It's kind of been painted on the back look. Perhaps silver birch is a difficult colour to come by. Can, can you get an Aston Martin touch-up stick yeah. for about 150 oh, yeah. quid? <laughs> buying Revell with acrylic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mixing your own. Silver with a bit of green in it, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. But, Fair uh, enough. I think that looks an all right kit. You've got all the little gadgets, look. You've got the shield and the mm -hmm. tyre popping bits and look where the ejection nice. seat is. Should Has it got the flip-around number plate? Yes. Can you... I look a bit. Look at it. I look a bit. It's got it on the back. There look. you go. Oh, yeah, that's it. You can even flip the number yeah, plate. Yeah, there. there's different number plates and stuff. So I think, I think it's uh, looks all right to me. Plus, it's a new tooled one. Matt never opens a box unless it's been built it, so that means... That it's got to build it now. Yeah, look. There you go. It's a nice kit. Yeah, it's, already, what? it's already done for you, right? It's even got yeah, it's... look, it's even... Pop yeah, see, I've got the ejector seat. Yeah. Seat. Tell you what, it's uh, it's a nice car, though, aren't they? I would say they are. Oh. A, they're a horrible thing to drive, and <laughs> in general, they're not very nice, but they're an iconic car. They? Uh, yeah, the practicalities of it car, is awful. Very pretty shape. Yes, yeah. I think it's that classic lines, isn't it, of the Aston Martin? Oh look, there's your paints oh. that you're not going to use. And, a, and look at that for a paintbrush. <laughs> Looks like one of mine. That. <laughs> so you can bin them. Yes. We've got some nice chromey parts. Very nice. There we go. Oh, look. Not a lot to it, really. Oh, drop that. Hmm. That's all that. If it's anything, actually, you know the camper van thing I did, the Type 2? Yeah. Yeah. Because that was a click fin. That was really nice. So, hmm. you know, it's... Um, didn't take much to put together actually looking at it you never know we might do it we might do it as a live i think field, i think you should do got, it got some clear parts look mm -hmm. get your molotov nice. out for the chrome yeah oh look oh get a poster nice. Nice. nice little poster look put on your bedroom wall 
to sh- it. shame about that bit. Let's <laughs> 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 uh, have a look where else to get. How many, how many sets of number plates do you get? I've got that. I was going to say. <coughs> a few. Mm-hmm. I think you get stickers and decals. I looked at that. Oh, right, okay. Being the click bit, you get both types. Nice. Yeah, I think you do, yeah. So, and to be fair, they're always nice decals and stuff with Ravel, aren't they? Hmm. And then you've got your instructions. Go look, inbox review. So, as we're selling it all cheap. Hmm. You didn't even got an engine, it's that curbside one. That's nice. Yeah. I thought yeah, it came from an engine, to be honest, but obviously not. There you go. You can all do your bits and bobs. Very it nice wasn't that long to put together, to be honest. It's, uh, hmm. you know, I think you can add all your little gadgets and there you go. stuff you want to do with it. Well, I so say I'm expecting you to do a diorama with it. Oh, yeah. With the smoke coming out the back and the what, little road crashed spikes. Into, crashed into the wall. While shooting with the Gatling guns out the fed lights and all the <laughs> rest of it. <laughs> so, yes, because obviously it says Goldfinger there, but technically he used it, didn't it, in the last one as well? Yes. In the last couple, in theory. He said a few out. He said it weren't it in Goldeneye or one of the Brosnan films. They, they used it. I think so, yeah. yeah. They've, all, they've all had a blasting one, haven't they? So, hmm. But, yeah, it's quite, uh, hmm. quite nicely done, actually, that. So, yeah. like so we, it does, yeah, definitely. So we've got it up there at forty four ninety nine. Obviously, usual retail price fifty five ninety nine. So a nice little bit of saving on that one as well. So, yes. Um, but yes, we thought that's a yep. really really nice kit that one. Yeah. So it does. Looks yeah. a looks typical Ravel because they've bought a few out, and they like you can get a Moonraker and a, the Mac yeah. one Mustangs out. The Z three mm-hmm. is it? They did yeah. or Z two? Whatever. Yeah. The helicopter. You're at the helicopter. Is it from Golden Eye? Yeah, the Eurocopter. The Tiger yeah. thing. That's out. So yeah, yeah. You need a Moonraker. Hmm. I must admit, I do fancy Moonraker. I often think about repainting mine in Moonraker. <laughs> Does anybody do seventy second scale decals for it? I, so I think it'll look better in Moonraker. Somebody hasn't done it. Yeah. And someone did one on a. Group, group build on the forum, didn't they? And it looked fantastic. Mm. Yeah, it that, did look the, really, really nice. That was Good that was the old that. Airfix one as well, wasn't it, that he did? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, so hmm. there you go. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice it's indeed. Nice kit. Cool. And if you are into your car kits, don't forget, we've got a little section along here. These are all on sale at the moment. So, again, we've got the Gullwing uh, for the Merc as well, which is lovely. Some really nice bits down in here. Again, we've got the other Bond one as well, which is the AMT um, Mac 1 Mustang. That's down in there as well. And some other ones, including Kit from Knight Rider. That's what so you need. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. That's exactly what you need. Kit from Night mm. Rider. I've just dropped some Absolutely. I'll get them in a minute. Hold on, let's get rid of that. So, yeah. Sticky, yeah. sticky away. Worthwhile, that, I think. Mm. Definitely. Uh, the other things as well, obviously, down in the new, Matt's got next to him as well there. We've got both the 30-second scale lightnings. Again, this is one of these things where, you know, it literally has been not around for ages well not this one that one came out about two or three months ago famously i got the review completely wrong <laughs> nice that everyone let me know about that yeah. so, <laughs> so but anyway we've got that up a great price as well the retail on this one's 120 pounds and we've just got it up for you at 96 pounds so well, saving a bit of money there we did say um asked for names if people wanted them mm-hmm. now, it was a long long time ago now a couple of guys that emailed me, I've emailed back, ask if they still want one. So mm-hmm. they can apply to me if they want one, and I'll get them uh, invoiced. Now, the other ones, I honestly do not know what I've done with the list that I created. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. So if you do want one, grab one now out of there quick, whilst mm-hmm. once I've got them in there on sale. Yeah. Um, I do apologise, but say it just such a long time ago now that we did it. We were expecting them in a lot sooner. Um, and I'm on to about my 10th notepad since, and I really haven't got a clue which, where, or what, what I did the list. Yes. Don't worry about it. They have to bath the side. Yeah. Cool. Fact, and if you're wondering what the difference is between the both, is one's got a big fuel belly on it and the other one hasn't. Yeah. And they've got square tail and round oh, tail. Oh, square tail and a round tail. Yeah. Yes. And that. So. 
<laughs> but yes, so you've got both types down there. You've got the F1 and the F2, uh, which is like the F3, F6, isn't it, I think? So. It's a slightly cheaper price than made them last time, or mm. the product more and would have, not more often anyway, but yeah. Yes. So if you do fancy a huge, and again, as I said in the review, which is now no longer, but a, it's one of those ones where it's not the most accurate one in the world, but it's still a 30 second scale lightning and your only other option is to do a vac form one and nobody wants to do that so if, if you were to build one phil which one would you build do you know what i would probably do the f2 f6 yeah oh, but i've got the, the cameras, other one i've got the f1 f3 sat here as well so which matt sent me down last time but if i was to do one i actually quite fancy doing the i think i prefer the other one. it's a bit more chunky a bit of a chunky monkey that one i think i'd either so, do it in the camo scheme or the all over green that they used in mm. Germany. Yes. It's yes. a scheme as well, but. Mm. Will you do a barley grey one? Last off. To be honest, I quite like that one. The last ones where it's got the barley grey and all the rest of it with the shark's mouth <laughs> on it. I did that yeah. in 48 scale, yeah. did the Airfix one. And mm. that's actually really nice as well. But uh, I must admit, I've got this one down in here, which is the Firebirds one. And um, I, I still will probably do that at some point, purely because it's a lightning and everyone yeah. loves a lightning. And in 30 seconds, it was just epic. So, um, yes, watch this space. I'll do one one day. I'll get around to doing it. But uh, but again, like we said, with all Trumpeter, if you're a Lightning fan, and this isn't just a sales ploy, buy them because they will go again. And then before you know it, they'll be on eBay going for 200 quid again. So, you yeah. know, it's one of those ones. They tend to be around and then they just vanish and then you never see them for enough, ages. Enough demand to do a, a run. A that? run, yeah. Because that's yeah. how it normally works. Because, uh, like I say, it's not been in their catalogue forever. And a lot of the no. other stuff has. It's mm, a weird yeah. that one got dropped, to be honest. Yeah, but, yeah, no. Uh, like I said, we were talking about them a long time ago, weren't we? I know we've got the uh, F1s in they get earlier on, but we were talking about them. They were getting both of them in a long time ago, and it's taken a while, hasn't it? And all of a sudden, they just... Yeah, it's going to be... How big are they? About that big, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so, they're all large lump. Yeah, it's a lump, pint it. So mm. that's that's even had to order special boxes for them. Yes, oh, actually, yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely worth getting though, I reckon. Hmm, definitely. Actually. Again, it's not too bad because they say you get a lot of plastic in there for hundred quid. I think it's a uh, you know a good yes. lump, good choice on that one. Uh, sorry, where are we? So we, we've got those in as well. And again, we've got the Razor Crest back in as well. Uh, that one's in. We spoke about some of these before. So we've got the Rafale, which is a beautiful kit. It's a little bit more superior, shall we say, to the uh, Hobby Boss one. Uh, and again, we've got some nice bits and pieces down in here as well. We've got the old Pink Panther uh, Land Rover. Hmm. Uh, we've got uh, the Willys Jeep as well. And uh, as I say, the other bits and pieces we spoke about before. And talking as Vesda, we've got the uh, IL-76. Uh, and obviously we've got their hook as well, which is really nice. And if you do want a standalone frog foot, which you probably won't, you'll want the other version because that's got all the nice bits in it. Uh, that one's there as well. All right. So we've got a couple of bits of Vesda and again, some of that uh, very nice as well, the um, uh, Vindicator as well. So the special hobby Vindicator. So very nice. God, I didn't realise we had that one back in. Oh, I've built that one. The Dolphin. Yeah. Not a bad so, kit, Hmm, I, it's up there. I did mine in US Coast Guard colours with a few little alterations. Uh, but that particular version, you don't have to alter it because that one's got the correct door. Mine had the wrong door because mm. I did the other version. So they got two flavours of that one out, so I had to convert mine. But that's got all the rescue gear as well. So that's a really nice kit as well, to be honest. Um, so, yes, very, very nice indeed. So we've got all of those ones just down in there. If you want to grab any of those ones, they are there right now uh, on those bits as well. We've got the damage box section as well. As I said before, just a couple of bits and pieces left over in here. Some of my kit reviews, bits like that as well. So if you want to grab one of those, you can do. They are up on the site right now as well. And lastly, we've got our book section. So again... It sold out a few of the books, to be honest. Yeah, a few of the books going. So the Wild Weasel one's out, and so is the uh, the Lightning one is out at the moment as well. So, uh, but yeah, well, we're, we're, yeah, we're out of the stock of quite a few books. we we'll have to get back on that and get some yes, of those Yes, now we're, now we're back at it. Hmm. Know. Wedding and Flory Fest. We're uh, yes. getting the wreath docks back in, so obviously we'll let you know as and when it's hmm. available. Yeah, yeah. Tough for coming up soon, aren't we? Yeah, that's a month away. One month, yeah, isn't it? Eleventh and twelfth yeah. of November. Yeah. So yeah, we are exactly a month away. 
So yes, we will be there everyone. We've got no stand there. We're not selling. We're not going anything. We're going as PFCs. <laughs> or civilians, shall we say. Uh, when we so say yes. we're not selling, it's, it's um, £20 a signature. Well, yes. Yes. Photos. Uh, photo. Yeah. Group <laughs> photos. It's £50. Individuals, 25 <laughs> <laughs> and we will be there with a jacket and if you need anything he'll be like what, what are you after and he's going to wear his best trench coat and have all the tools and stuff hanging on one Matt's going to be paint <laughs> failing that we will be in the car park all day <laughs> so yes but no we are going but we are going to be just as um private people walking around the show so if we do see us come and say hello we are going to have a meet and greet and things like that as well so um but yeah if you want to catch up with us say you don't like what we do andy will deal with you <laughs> any complaints and things yeah. like that see our complaints department <laughs> mr molyneux will be glad to listen to every word you've got so that's fine yeah. Right, okay, <laughs> pre-orders. <laughs> We've got, obviously, uh, Tamiya's new 135, or so I should say F35B, um, B, which is the Lightning 2 uh, on this one. Looks really nice. Obviously, it follows on from their A version. Um, so it does make you wonder if they are going to do the C. Yeah, I think mm. they will, not they? If they do the C, that will be it then. I think game over, isn't it? It's where everyone's going to go for, so... Mm. There's a lot of talk initially whether it was the Italeri version, wasn't it? But yeah. We know it isn't. But when you actually no. see the um, breakdown of it now, it's definitely it's a lot more. No, it's a lot no, nicer. Completely their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what it was, there was a little bit of confusion over that, but it, there is a little bit of a crossover between Italia and Tamiya. As you know, a lot of their 70 second scale stuff is Italeri stuff. Um, they have their own in amongst it, but you do have to be a little bit careful when you're fishing through their gear because you might end up with an Italeri kit. I think what happened was their um, press release got a little bit lost in translation because the way it's worded, it looked like they'd done a joint collab on the kit and the moulding, and that's how it sounded. But I think what it was is they just said in there the research was shared between both companies uh, and things like that. So that's why there was a joint thing. It wasn't so much the plastic kit and the parts itself. It was more the research and documentation uh, was shared between both companies. So I think that's where a lot of people thought this was just the Italian one reboxed in the um, the uh, Tamiya boxing. So talking of F thirty five, I'll tell you what has gone under the radar: mm. the Trumpeter thirty second versions. Do you know what? Yes. I might have got that one coming. The C. Oh, have you? No, I've got the B. Mm. No, the C's out as well, isn't it? The B's yeah, just I know. come out, but the, all of them now are out, and it's become yeah. very much. I'll well, say, I'm going to rectify that because I've got the B coming. Have you? So, I'll tell you what I've got coming today, actually, talking to Trump of 32nd, the Devastator. Mm. Oh, nice, yeah. Because I've had to put an order in with said company for some bits. I've oh, well, I'll have the Devastator and then we'll have a look at that. Yeah, that's have a look at it. Spears as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yes. Oh, interesting, yeah. that. Mm. Mm. Is yours coming Is that... today? Uh, no, mine's arriving tomorrow, I think. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I think, you know, what it, you know, at the end of the day now, you've got Tamiya. If they do the C as well, that's where everyone's going to go for those because they're just going to be brilliant. And then, usual thing, if you want it in 30 second, it's gone back to being you're going to do it in Trumpeter because obviously they've got the A, B, and the C versions of those as well. So it's how it always used to be, wouldn't it? If you want anything in 30 second, Trumpeter. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, I thought I'd get the B in because I prefer the B to any of the others. And I thought, really, we never really looked at it. We've done a review of the 30 second uh, Italeri one. Uh, but we haven't looked at any of the trumpeter ones yet, so I thought, well, look, I fancy the B at some point, so we'll get the B in uh, and we can have a look at that. Mm. So look, we've yeah. not had them up for pre order. We've not had them up for pre order, but if anyone does want fancy one on the back of a field review or wants one anyway, mm -hmm. just let us know and, and um, give you a price for them and get them in for you. That's it. They're all wait to the review now. See if it's any good. Yeah. And they go, no, go and get the Italian one. Right. <laughs> right so anyway, the Italian do... one's an A, isn't it? So they ain't going to yeah, get a 30 yeah. second B or a C because it's no. just the only one, isn't mm -hmm. it? So Yes. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So, uh, But no, it's a very iconic aircraft. I think it's grown on a lot of people, um, the actual uh, the Lightning these days, whereas before everyone was like, oh, it's just a grey blob. You know, I think everyone's sort of getting with it now. So, uh, but anyway, it is up with you. This is the pre-order, obviously, for the Tamiya one. We've got it up here at eighty nine ninety nine. So you save yourself a tenner on that particular kit. Uh, the other one is 
you could do a lot more with the dioramas and things like it going into the sea or sort of like flying on its own. So over the ski jump and then just plopping in the water or the one you could do is landing and then just throws the pilot out and just goes in or just yeah. one going off on its own. Yeah. <laughs> with, no, with no canopy on <laughs> with no canopy on it yeah that's it it just carries on on its own with no canopy so if you've broken your, if you've broken your um canopy just leave the jet seats out of it and have the yeah, undercarriage up and that's it well it, it does the old smash one you'll still need the front bit <laughs> but you will anyway this one i'm really excited about we've been talking about this particular kit for well it feels like years and finally it's coming to fruition so this is mini arts 148 skull uh p47 thunderbolt um again mm. iconic aircraft i think if you were probably putting it up against things really you've got tamias which was always king of the hill this one looks very very nice you can see down in here in the cad work we've got it this is two flavors of this particular kit as well to be honest it still terrifies me when you say mini art do a detailed version of anything because yeah that just gives me a cold sweat so i can only yes. imagine what this thing is going to be like when they bring out the full version of this as well so they are bringing out a super detailed one with all the interior and everything else this is more the curbside model as we call it so it's all the externals but it still gives fantastic detail of all the usual suspects so such as the engine the wheel well looks like we do get three types of wheels as well or is in that is that three or even more yeah right. yeah no there's three uh is it three or is that nine different types of tires and wheels her combinations okay that's a good question Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well i'm wondering why it's in threes because technically why would you do a three it's only got two main wheels so <laughs> Yeah, okay, so you could get an option for doing a few versions, but again, looks like you get bombs, fuel tanks, you know, long range stuff as well. But just looking at the rivet detail and obviously the detail just down here in the tail wheel uh, and the main wheel wells and that, it does look really, really nice. Um, and again, yeah. it's just one of these kits where we've never seen Mini Art do anything like this before, and it will be interesting to see how they're going to turn it out and do it. And what will be really interesting is how many parts are in the actual full detailed version. So, uh, but yes, very, very nice indeed. So if you do want to get your name down for one of these, I highly recommend it because it does look really, really nice. And also the price is ridiculous because it's just 36 quid. Mm -hmm. So that's just, you know, crazy really for a kit of this era, of this scale and all the rest of it for being that price, I think is absolutely fantastic. So um, really, really good done. So anyway, we'll get one of those in for a review definitely and have a good look at it. And then hopefully when the full version comes along, we will do a review of that as well. So um, very, very nice so, indeed. This is going to be a short pre-order because this is due at the end of the month. Right, okay. It is literally, you know, that soon. Um, yes. So like I say, if you want, want one, please get your name down so we can, you know, make oh, sure you get yeah, one. Just straight away. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Fair enough. And uh, what have we got? Last up, uh, actually, I think we've done these before. Oh, no, we've got two. So we've got the Lancaster. This is the Dan Busters version. So this is the 48 scale HK1, which I've done great kit and all the rest of it so this is the damn best one do you like the box art as well yeah i think that's actually mm. the first time i've seen it from an angle with box art and i think that looks really really good so um but yeah very very nice indeed so if you fancy that particular kit i can vouch for it it's a really really nice kit that one as well so um you can go with that one all right so that is up there as well so we got that one up at uh, 108 pounds so you're saving yourself a bit of chunk of money on there and last up here it goes, the Mariner. Mm. Which, again, you just don't see, do you? Completely no. overlooked no. in everything. So this was whose? I'm going to get it wrong if I mini, say it. Mini Craft. Mini Craft. Mini so, Craft. Because it used to be back in the day Academy Mini Craft, didn't it? Yes. And yeah. then they both went the separate yeah. ways. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah. um, there's some sort of, you know, obviously they've kissed and made up or whatever they've ever done. So mm. that was a very expensive kit in a mini craft box for, for whatever reason. Yes. But now yeah. it's 26 quid or something. Isn't it? I don't know. It's mm -hmm. it's, it's yeah. very cheap. And that's a lump. That's a it is small a good lump. Plate. It's, no. Yeah. So, so if you are worried about them, if you remember, if you go back in time, literally Scooby-Doo it, um, then I built their Liberator B24 72nd one mm. years ago proper years ago as well because that was reboxed by Eddard back in the day they did a version of that one for I think it's Pacific ones um, did that one as well and they are really nice kits they go together really really well they've got a good level of detail all the way through so again but I haven't seen that kit for ever 
I can't remember the last time I saw that kit. To I wonder what so... happened to their uh, B24 molds because they've never yeah. really resurfaced either, have they? Because no. I remember having the one with the zodiac signs. That was it. Did they yes. Have the zodiac yeah. signs, or, or did they have another one? Actually, I don't know. I might have. I, no, I had one with a different. Not the zodiac because you did do the, did do the zodiac ones. Hmm. I had one with um. Oh, what's the funny thing out of Popeye? Yeah, the thing, and it was throwing some on the nose art. I can't think of the character. Oh, right. It's a, I'm sure it's a Popeye character anyway, or whatever. Yeah. Um, I had that boxing of it, but yeah, they were, they were the ones to have. They were. They really were the, the top the ones to get at the time. Cause, yeah. Because they did the D's and the J's, didn't they? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you just grafted a whatever nose you wanted on, because that's what you did with mm-hmm. yours, isn't it? That's, yeah. They're yeah. not that bad. The kits is all recessed. Mm-hmm. I mean, by, yeah. I think, by, I think by the Hazagawa standard one, it's it's. Hmm. It's showing its age. Yeah, it's yeah absolutely. It's a bit like their Catalina and their um, B29s, aren't they? That sort of era. Yeah. yeah. So they're good solid kits. They could just do mm. a, probably a bit of upgrading, but um, hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Like I said they never really resurfaced, have they? Never really made no. a. I think Italy re- reboxed them at one point, but that was a long time ago because they did the assembly ship ones. Hmm. If I remember on their boxing of whichever one it was. But yeah, after that, I wonder why Academy has never redone them. Because didn't they or do the privateer as well? You are. Didn't they do the privateer? Minicraft did the privateer as well, didn't they? Yeah, no, it not? It's matchbox one for that. Nobody's ever... just the matchbox? No yeah, one's privateer. Yeah. Funny that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Again, it's another era, era plane that's overlooked, the old privateer. Like I said, the old matchbox one from 1980 or whatever, the one I've got upstairs. Mm. Yeah. Again, it's, it's very overlooked. I know somebody mm. did a conversion for the 48th one, didn't they? I think cost yeah. uh, somebody else yeah. did conversions for the... the like I say, to convert the uh, mon- the old monogram one, but because mm. uh, talking to be yes, twenty fours, we do have to see the hobby boss one soon, aren't we? Forty eight. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whenever that's due, so mm. that worth looking at. Definitely. I say we've had a few Very people nice. ask about privateers in the past, haven't we? But yeah, like I said, mm. not a lot available. No. If you want to get hold of that. So, hmm. yeah. so anyway, if you do fancy one of those, obviously, members, you can get your name up there. And then, obviously, we've got all the usual suspects we've spoken about before. So we've got the former down there. We've got the Poseidon. Um, and so we've got the Qatari, um, which is the early Mark One special one that they've done. And uh, we've got, yes, all the other bits and pieces down in there as well. So if you want to grab any of those, pop your name down. The usual way it works. Members, just for you, you get the discount price. We won't invoice you until we're ready to ship it. So you don't have to pay anything up front. There's no deposit or anything. You just put your name down for it. We'll get in touch with you when they're ready to ship with the invoice. You pay it and we ship it. It's just as simple as that. So, yes, good job. Right, should we go over to questions? Because we've got a few to catch up on. Okay, so apologies if this sounds all weird, but we're literally about three weeks behind on this. So some of it's probably a little bit out of date, including this one. Hope you all recovered from Florifest. Yes, we have. Thank you. Uh, I was lucky enough to catch most of the live shows. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And thank you very much for your efforts. My question relates to work lamps. I'm thinking about changing my current bench lamp uh, for something a bit brighter. What would you recommend? Well, we don't use them as such. So, Andy, this is over to you. I do. Uh, the one I've got is the one that everybody seems to use, which is a, I think it's just called Daylight. It is. It's the Daylight Company make those, yeah. Yeah, it's the Daylight Company, yeah. I and mean, it's got like two settings, so if I spin it around and blind the camera, it's mm-hmm. got like, that's 4B and more it's got, it probably doesn't even change it on the camera, to be honest with you. It does. Yeah. yeah. It does. yeah. Oh, does that? Yeah, so it's full, yeah. medium, or off. But yeah, they're very good. Very, very good. I mean, the original one I had was the three-tube hmm. one, again, that everybody had, but everyone, we're all on in the, I had LEDs. that one as well. Yeah, they changed it yeah. over to LEDs. I had the old tubes back in the day with the daylight yeah. tubes in there. And, yeah. Um, yeah, fell, they, my daylight, yeah, yeah, my tube one fell apart. Hmm. Again, I think because of lack of, lack of thinners and things, it, it um, destroyed the plastic. It ate it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, stopped, it, yeah it, stopped, it, stopped, it stopped cracking and things, so it wasn't very good. Hmm. Yeah. The thing is now with lamps, so, there's a lot of them out there you can get. And they're like they're mm. all LEDs really now, aren't they, or whatever they are. So um, yeah. just make sure you, you need to make sure you look for a, a daylight. Daylight, yeah. Yeah, you just 56. want a daylight. They do two tolls. Yeah, they say 5600 Kelvin, isn't it, or whatever it is. 
Yeah. And um, those ones will be daylight. Obviously, you don't want to get the other ones, which I think are about 3,200, and they're warm, aren't they? Which has got a more yellow tint yeah. to it. So you want to go with the one, yeah. like, you know, these are daylight work, but these are studio things with hundreds of LEDs. So, uh, but they're yeah. a little bit different. But even the LED bank ones, I can't look at them because I'll be blind. But, you know, yeah. I remember the first one I bought was 600 quid, and they're about this big and they're a bank of leds and it cost a fortune but now you can go on amazon and if you're watching live go on amazon prime day at the moment they'll probably be on there where they're about this big now quite small and they're like 25 quid i've got so newer can... newer yeah that's it? what i use i've got a I've newer got one down there in a thing that's, uh, yeah my yeah I've my big empty spotlight. case yeah, they come in a nice case like yeah, this they're the ones to do so this is empty in here but what you get is you get a full you get the power brick you get a diffuser thing for them as well and all the rest of it but um they're really really cheap if you've got somewhere to put these they're great so technically i've just got two i've got one there and i've got one up here and they just down to my desk so highly recommend those as well so but it's say you need those ones to be a little bit further away otherwise they'll be very bright but you can obviously turn these ones down to literally nothing so you can have magic like Okay, Lindsay says, uh, hello, gents. Uh, uh, do you have a recommendation for a decent scribing tool that won't break the bank? Uh, Phil, are you going to be building the Razor Crest? Scribers, again, we said about this. This is real, real personal choice. If you want one, because I misread that earlier, I said it won't break. Um, these are like crowbars. So this is the UMM ones. So just go to umm-usa.com, I think they are. Um, and you can get these these things are absolutely great love them i've got all three types but i tend to use the long handle one which is the number three uh, that's the one i tend to use my daily driver but again scribing is one of those ones where we often discuss about airbrushing and other tools which you get quite personal i think the old memory action comes in quite well with it you have a feel for it you know how it is and how it's going to work um, and i think scribing tools is one of those sometimes that you just have to find that right one that works for you because other ones i've got the tamiya ones behind me which cost a small kidney and um yeah i hate them just can't get on with them at all but other people i know just think they're the best thing ever but i just can't get on with those whatsoever so but yes we tend to use these ones don't we i think yes. that you use yeah. these guys the umm yeah, ones yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but yeah just go and see john Wojtek and um great guy great modeler and you know he produces some really good gear as well so it's always handy when a modeler invents and designs his own tools because you know it's going to work the other so, um, one as well though is the razor saws the cmk razor saws yeah really yeah yeah. yeah which yeah. i've been using as well yeah you put them in the handle nice or those. just use them separate or just the blade. blade yeah definitely they get the really fine one and that makes a really mm -hmm. good scribing tool I, as well like i said it is nice when they've got a flat surface that you can orientate it within it so if they're, if they're yeah. round so yeah. like can't get you can't get it right can you it's very difficult to sort of like you know like the tamiya one yeah come in with a round thing it's like difficult to orientate mm. it right to get it keep mm -hmm. it you know keep it nice and square yeah definitely because just again, always talking of, daylight just quicker these daylight things they are on amazon they're on the um, prime deal at the moment mm -hmm. they should be 94 quid and the 79 pound 90 at the moment so okay. uh, Wait, get thing, them on the today does it finish today, doesn't it? I think it finished tonight, yeah. It finished today. So yeah, it was yesterday and today, wasn't it? Yeah, so if you need to get one, you just put if you just put in daylight company into your search engine into yes. Amazon and it'll come up with them and it'll show you them. Um seventy nine pound ninety. Not cheap, but they are worth the quality. Look down in the show notes and you might see a link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Follow that link and you'll be fine. <laughs> that way I'll get my one pound twenty kickback. <laughs> so yes good job right uh, as for the razor crest it's there it's literally winking at me it sits there and as you know i always do sci-fi in december it tends to be the rundown to the end of the year so that's probably where it might make an appearance because uh, i'm going to do some sci-fi i've also got a beautifully um, printed for me uh it was a tie fighter a big one i've got that as well so you never know it might be back to doing star wars december again uh right the way through uh barry says hi there phil uh i hope you came a while back i purchased special hobby i'm paraphrase this barry you really need to sort your emails out you emailed me about this about six or seven times i think it was and i replied every single time to you and your emails bounce back 
yeah. because you've got a VPN, I think, on there, and it's blocking all emails through. It doesn't matter how you do it. But I've tried it, and I thought your spelling was off. I've tried different versions of it, and I know you've been literally trying to contact me for weeks and weeks over this um, because I know I forwarded it over to Matt and Andy, and they've been trying to get hold of you, and we we're all getting a bounce back and everything else. Yeah. But I do believe that's now been fixed, haven't it, guys? You've sorted him out. Yes, yes we're ready to wait for a set to come in. Yeah. So it's, it's in the post for your latest order. So when yeah. you get it by the end of the week, you will have a set of um, instructions yeah. in the box with the yes. other bits you've ordered. So Absolutely. there we go. But please, please yeah. don't think it was us ignoring you. We were trying to get back to you straight away from the first one it's got because I messaged you back straight away in the morning. I got your email and it came back and it was like undeliverable and all the rest of it. So I thought it was a typo in your address. I've been back through obviously everything you've sent me before and it was correct. And I, yeah, it just wouldn't have it. And I tried to get to you through all our ways through Gmail, through Yahoo, and obviously through the company server as well to try and get to you. And none of them would go through. So yeah, I think I'm, you've I'm, got something on your thing. It's either full up or you've got I've, I've, I've tried replying to him a few times and yeah mm. it's just bounced back so basically mm. what you need to do is let us you know let us in yes and to be honest Barry I even mentioned it when we had Flory Fest on one of the live shows I actually did say about you then saying yes I've got your emails but it won't let me answer but we are sorting it even back then yeah. so yes never mind hopefully you're sorted now so by the time you get this hopefully we'll be with you within a day or two Okay, uh, Malcolm says, hi guys, I'm planning my budget ahead of Scale Model World 2023. I've just uh, pre-ordered the Gannet uh, from Airfix. Pranjit made me do it. Uh, when I saw the care and attention that P put into it, um, I just had to have one for the build experience, uh, if nothing else. Anyway, uh, I've also got the, uh, the Tamiya P47 on pre-order. Uh, with PM, and I'm wondering if you've had any word when these might show up. It's, it's already paid for it, and it's gone out yesterday. Oh, well, there we Today. go. So that's what we're saying. Remember when I said at the beginning of this segment that it's maybe yeah. out of date? <laughs> this is one of those. Okay, so that's it. Uh, then he says, P.S. If Dale's watching, Pranjit, can he have sales commission uh, off of this one? I'm so impressed with his brilliant engineering that I felt compelled to order one. Uh, can I just... Oh, there you go. Go Can on. I just say I'm lying about the P forty seven. They haven't gone out yet. He has paid for it. Hmm. They haven't, they haven't gone out yet. Oh right, okay. So anyway, he's just put on the end of this because yeah. he's edited it and said that he's just paid for the invoice and all the rest of it. Yeah. Um it did take a couple of tries uh to get it to uh the price correct, uh which I'm putting down to the post wedding hangover. Probably. And the breakfast. Monday morning blues, that was uh, I invoiced him for the wrong kit, him and somebody else for the wrong kit. Oh. Wrong, kit, wrong, wrong price. price. Then, I then I changed the kit, but I didn't change mm -hmm. the price. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There we go. And this is what we're talking about, because 15 days ago, over two weeks ago, I answered Barry on the forum about that same question above, about trying to get hold of him. So that's what it's like. OK, uh, Nathaniel says, hi, team. I've got a couple of quick questions. Number one, have you heard uh, of any suggested uh, arrival of the Magic Factory um, Bradley? first I've heard about it. No. No. But then we've not really had the finger on the pulse for the past few weeks, if I'm honest, though. We no, no, we have been a bit... Slipped under the, the radar, to, to, to be fair, so I, I have not heard about it. No, I'm afraid not. Mm-hmm. OK, so number... 16th. 135th. Uh, it's 35th, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I just buy a main one. This one's got the extra add-on... Palmer and stuff. What was that other Bradley one from that other company who did all the extras for it as well? Do you remember that you special had, one we had in? The one yeah. I, I, I had. No, no, Andy had it. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember it was by. Because I did a review of it. Yeah, and I did a review of that kit as well with all the extras in it. I can't remember who that was, but it was somebody else's kit with a load of extras into it as well, wasn't it? That was a really nice one, that Bradley. Who was it by? I sold it and won the auctions, didn't I? Yes, yeah. you did. And you lost a load of money. I was about to say, did you sell it or give it away? He oh. gave it away because if you gave remember, I was like, Jesus, I can't believe it went for that because that was such a hard cost, kit to get. Cost yeah. the postage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he says, uh, do, 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 do you know what became of the 72nd scale B1B, which is the model collect one? Uh, recall it being announced a few years ago, but it seems uh, to be 
uh, in the same void as the Kinetic C17. Again, that was, I think what happened with that was they had a bit of a tooling problem with the B52 and they went back and redid the B52 because the front end got changed on the B52 kit on some of the different versions. Um, and I think that sort of threw everything out of kilter with them, uh, which is a shame because I really want to do that kit because it was going to go with my B, what I'd like to, I've got the B52 here. I'd like to do the B1 and have obviously the I B2. I just do the 48th one and, you know, man up a bit. Because I'm not doing the old Ravel 48 <laughs> <are>. one. <laughs> we are. We've got all the stuff for it. I was going to say, there's tons of aftermarket for it. Funny enough, Steve, who we were with last weekend, he's built that one. There you go. So that means so, you can do it. Yes. So, Get the Platinum it, Edition one. Yeah, that's it. I saw Steve's. I went round his ass and he's literally got it on his kitchen table. And it is his dining room table, is which it takes up pretty much all of it. And I was like, what the frick did you do with it? So it was sat there in primer. I don't know if he's ever finished it. But anyway, that's a big kit. Now, a 72nd one is perfect size, I think. Uh, so anyway, as for the Kinetic C17, I did ask him about that a while ago and really got a, one of those sort of politicians, vague, it's in the system answers. So it probably well, means we're not going to see it anytime soon. As, as Kinetic are going to be at uh, Telford, why don't everybody go and bombard him and say, yes, yeah, so what happened to it? Where is it? You where know, is it? Ask, you know, ask the uh, organ grinder, innit? That's it. Well, we might see, was it the G92, is it? Whatever it's called? 96, oh, Fiat, whatever. Fiat, the G91. Yeah. Yeah. 91, that is it. Yeah, what happened to that? Because that just apparently needed tweaking, and we've never seen that again either. So, Probably anyway. needed a bit more than a tweak. Hmm. Have you heard of Zimmy models by any chance? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Uh, it looks like they've mm -hmm. inherited a bunch of Kitty Hawk and Panda kits. Yes, this isn't new or anything. It's, um, so... Tis. The way we actually Tis. see in... Oh, can't what? say about this. Can't we? All right, uh -huh. okay, I'll avoid that. Right, we're, okay. We're under... It's official secrets i've never signed anything for this lot so i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can really, you can really. <laughs> yeah. so from as far as we know as i say zimmy is yeah they're, they're connected to other companies and various things as a lot of companies in that part of the world are and it does look like they've taken on some but not all of their kits and I've already had people message me for the last couple of weeks about this. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to just pick a handful of kits and release from them. But what I do know is that apparently they're working on their own stuff as well. So they're not just reboxing. They are planning to release their own stuff as well as obviously some of the old Panda kits and the Kitty Hawk kits as well. So but which ones we will see from that particular stable, I have no idea. Apparently they're due to release a um, 48th KA52. Mm, yeah so but yes because a lot of people were saying to me oh they're just reboxing it's just somebody using a name and it's all going to be reboxes no it's not they're doing their own kits as well so um, but as and when we will see releases um because a lot of people said to me originally i was told they're re-releasing the entire lot and um, that's not what i've heard so we will see how it goes but hopefully over time they might re-release some of them and get them out so, um, yes, be nice if they did. They're not going to be any better than when the original released. Well, this, no, no, they're going to be the, exactly is, the same kit. This is what kits, gets me. It's the like, only thing we can hope for is that the instructions might actually be, you know, be exactly the same legible. <laughs> yeah. Like, take off your rose-tinted glasses and you've still yes. got a Kitty Hawk kit at it's the end of it that everybody used it. to, you know... Batter. Batter, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their Seahawk was lovely, apart from the instructions, which are awful. <laughs> stronger words than battered but yes do you know what i mean it was the case though i used to batter them all the time yeah no it was absolutely you know yes it's that thing because you can't get them everybody thinks mm. they were brilliant so mm. yeah i mean the only thing that for me personally would be the voodoos mm. and they weren't great and they are awful yeah <laughs> You got the nose midsection, fuselage yeah, bit, tail, and the arse end. It's like how many different conversions could they get into one kit? They only released two versions: the I... single seat and the two seat. So I can't stand why it was in so many bits. They, they, they did the re the recon, didn't they? As well. Yeah, the single seat recon, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm surprised something like Trumpeter's not done a voodoo. Hmm. It's yeah. Quite up there. Mm -hmm. There's street to do something like that, wouldn't it, really, if we do? Or even Hobby Boss, one of them anyway, do you know what I mean? So, yes. Don't know. Anyway. You don't need one anyway. You can just go and get the mighty monogram one. 
Yeah, but they don't do the recon one with a chiselled nose, and that's the one I will like. Single I'm sure you can get a conversion. I don't think you can, to be honest. John, <laughs> are you back off holiday? We're getting through the conversion <laughs> for one. Yeah, John. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, right, Gary says, hi Phil, just a question. Uh, there are so many oil paints out there, uh, so you can tell me which ones I should get to start off with. Um, I know that it's really up to the builder, um, but I want to get your t uh, take on it. I think really, like I said before, we've done this before, if you pop over to the store, go into the old Abtai Lung uh, oils in here, your best bet is to start with a starter set. And now we've got them all back in, because last time I came in here, wasn't it? it was during Flory Fest, we'd been mugged out, yeah, it had gone. Yeah. But we've got them all in again. Now, if you're an aircraft builder, obviously the great thing, if you're gonna go with the aircraft set, you know, you've got the shadow colors and all things like that, but you've got the blues, you've got the greens, and you've got the yellows for doing all your fading. So you can fade back and do all those little techniques I do, and they are all in one place. Um, but then obviously if you're doing armour, you can just do the sets as well because they're a good way to do it. They work out a little bit cheaper doing it like that as well. After that, then you can sort of go around and pick individual colours out uh, that you want to use. But to be honest with you, 99% of my stuff, I just, I'm in here, you know, with the actual aircraft uh, effects one because that's what I use all the time. So that's you, where I would go. If you want with the aircraft set, probably Starship Filth, a light grey, and a shadow shadow brown maybe mm. but again that'll be funny the shadow in there is like sepia isn't it it's their version yeah. of sepia so that works really well for it the only thing i would probably add to that aircraft set is the light gray which is number mm. probably quick if we do it this way because it'll be in the thing here yeah. this one uh which is light gray which is abt uh 170 do we still do that should i just check yeah we do yeah, we're right. 170, which is this one here, because that's the one I tend to use on more modern um, stuff. Because it ha in the set, it comes with one, but it's quite a buffy colour. It does work, but it's not as good as that, so that's quite a nice sharp one. So, um, But yeah, that's literally where I go. I've got a load of them, because Matt gave me a load. Um, but they're my sort of go-to ones that I use all the time. But again, it's one of those things, if you're in a specific type of thing you're working on and doing, you can just get a colour to go with that. But like, you know, often I've said with this, this is one of those things, £3.80, which let's face it, is just a cops, you know, cup of coffee these days, isn't it? That will last you forever. It won't go off, just remember, keep them upright, and every now and again, just give them a, a lie down, so the oils, otherwise you end up with it, it goes a bit dry at the top and uh, at the bottom so just you know every now and again like wine fine wine just move them around <laughs> so the cork doesn't dry out <laughs> but otherwise would what can add... happen over a long time the oils will separate so would you add any other colors matt would i yeah but mm. all every all <laughs> no 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 i like light mud and dark mud i think they're two yeah. really good colors um especially if you're doing wing walks and stuff where there's a lot of traffic, shall we say, on aircraft, mm -hmm. talk aircraft yeah. here. But I, I use them, obviously, as well for armour. I think they're two really... Say, sepia is definitely one, because that's just a dark, nice yeah. shadow colour. Dark brown, yeah. That's whatever. And then Which light... is what they call it, is shadow. It's 007, yeah. isn't it? Is yeah, sepia. there is a shadow There is a shadow brown, though. There's two, but sepia yeah. is that darker one. It's just like a touch of black, really, isn't it? It's, you know, it's yeah. really, really, really dark brown. And then, like I say, light mud and dark mud. And then um, mm. they're your earthy colours for me, just for basic, yes. you know, weathering. Mm -hmm. And like I say, if you wanted to fade in, and then obviously your yellows, blues, whatever else you want to put in there, neutral, grey. <coughs> so, but yeah, your sport for choice. There's lots and lots yeah. of colours down in there. And so it's not tons of them, but there's enough, I think, to cover pretty much all bases, isn't it? Mm. Cool, very good. Right, okay, that was the last question. I think it was. Good job. So, there we go. We can leave it right there. Don't forget, we are back with you tomorrow night. We'll be with you at 7.30. So if you want to come along and join us for that one, we'll be our big catch-up show with the team and everything else like that and answering all your questions. So if you've got any questions, members, post them up onto the forum and we'll get those answers to you hopefully during the show as well. And we can do a bit of building. So I'll be cracking on with me Hell Diver, mm. and he'll be poking at his Spitfire again, is it? No, I'm doing it. Um... 48 at the moment. Oh, very nice indeed. Very nice. And Matt will be poking with? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> a, um, 
a Ravel DB5 hmm. That's the motto. Yeah, I think he should. I think we need a poll, a vote. In yeah. fact, just bombard him with it. So yeah. when are you starting it? It was in the box now, so he's got to. Otherwise, I've got to put in damaged box section. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Right. Okay, then. We will leave it right there. Thank you very much for joining us today. Don't forget, you get all your usual bits over at the pmmodelsuk.com store. And again, as we often say, if you don't see it on there, shoot us a message and I'm sure we can get it. We don't carry everything, but we can pretty much get everything, if that makes sense. So, yep. yes, good job. Right. Okay. Keep an eye out for your invoices as well. As Andy invoices you for various things as well, if you can make payments as soon as possible, it just makes his pad a lot easier. Because otherwise, it's like one from Hogwarts. And Oh, no, I'm on um, Excel now, so... Oh, we all posh now, so that's great until your computer crashes. Uh, which it did, yes, on Monday. Oh, well, there you go, you see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, back to the paperwork. So, good yeah. job. <laughs> nice. OK, then, guys, we will leave it right there. Happy modelling, take care. We'll see you all again very soon. Take care, my gentlemen. We're out of here. Bye. Bye. <laughs>